Hi everyone, this is Lily from Zebra BI. Welcome to this video where I will show you how to build a Zebra BI dashboard on your own data. So our main goal will be to redesign this Excel report with Zebra BI visuals using the exact same data source. So by taking a quick look at this report, we can't conclude much from it. And after the transformation, this is how our Zebra BI dashboard will look like. And this is what we are aiming towards, instant information and consistent reporting. We will build this report in just a few minutes, but first let me get started on a few basics of Power BI. So we're going to start with an empty Power BI file. And when we think about importing data into an analysis tool like Power BI, which is our first thought of getting data from. So I bet we all thought of Excel, right? And yes, this is probably one of the most common data sources used. And of course, there are many others. But today, we will be focusing on Excel direct import with copying data from Excel and pasting it into Power BI. So how do we do that? We will click on the Enter Data icon on the top ribbon. And this opens up a window create table. In here, we have two options. We can manually type in data or we can simply copy it from a spreadsheet. So we're going with the second option in our uh, case. And if we move to Excel, where I have my data source, which I used in my both examples, and this is a really simple sales type table. And it, we can see here a few dimension columns and a few value columns. And I will just select the all and copy this table and move back to Power BI and just paste it over here. Uh, after that, we can rename our table at the bottom. And then we have two options. Load will import this data into the report right away. And edit will lead us to the Power Query editor where we can make transformations to our table. But we will select load in our case, and if we find something to edit, we can always come back later. One more thing we need to consider with enter data option is the 3000 cell limit. So just keep that in mind for when you are pasting your data. So now our data is visible on the right hand side in the fields pane. Left of that, we have the visualizations pane where all visuals, including Zebra BI visuals appear. You can find a link to how to install Zebra BI visuals in the link below this video. As mentioned earlier, our sales table is in the fields pane and when it's expanded, we get to see all its columns. So in this report, we are going to use plain columns from our table without preparing any measures or separate tables, even though I highly recommend creating your dimensional tables separately. This video is just a click along demonstration of a Zebra BI dashboard creation from one simple table on your own data, from your data. So you can find more about data modeling on the link below this video. So now we have everything ready to start building our dashboard and we can select our first visual to uh, present main targets using Zebra BI cards. And we will put our actual column to the values placeholder. And now we can only see this one plain value, which doesn't tell us much. So we need something to compare this value with. So we're just adding previous here. And the visual immediately gets more insight with an automatically calculated variance. So we're going to add plain column as well. And we can see that our card becomes actionable when adding comparisons. So this is our overall performance card, but now we want to get this broken down to our main targets, sales channel. So we're going to drop this into the group placeholder. And suddenly one card visual becomes a multi-card visual. And as you noticed, our cards also include charts. So we can add trend with placing months to the category placeholder. And what is really great about our visuals is we can make changes within them, like changing chart types, reordering cards, resizing cards, and there are many other options available in the settings, and you can even suppress charts from cards. You can explore cards more by following the link below this video. 
Moving forward from our cards, we will try creating a bit more detailed visual using Zebra BI tables. So let's put our values to the same placeholders as before. And now we're going to use products as our category. As we can see here, our table has integrated charts and yet again, the variances are also automatically calculated and added as separate columns to the table. Having those, it's possible to exclude some columns to avoid duplicating and to obtain more space for variances. Instead of that, we can use integrate the chart on the actual value to acquire all three values in the same column. It is also possible to change between chart types, table types in, in this visual using a chart slider and switch between table view and chart view. To get an overall value at the bottom of our table, we can just turn on the grand total option in the settings. Now let's explore our trends a bit using Zebra BI charts visual. So we will put our months to the categories placeholder and the other values to their regular placeholders. And yet again, we can use chart slider to switch between different chart types. And for this case, I would use a column chart instead of a waterfall chart that only allows us to compare two values at once. By doing that, we've gotten more insight into both comparisons. And now for the most actionable part of charts visual, we will expand it. And the action is happening within our visual by expansion, getting more and more details, relative and absolute variances without any previously prepared calculations. Great, our dashboard is finished and we can make a quick review of it. So let's focus on our main targets and we can immediately indicate which one is the most problematic target and that could be B2B sales channel. By clicking on it, the interactivity in the report triggers and all other visuals filter out by that selection. And now we can also use multi-selection as well to dig even deeper. By that, we've established that B2B sales channel is the most critical target and November is their worst performing month in which product called Bomber Jacket has the lowest sell compared to plan. With this simple solution, I wanted to demonstrate the importance of a well-built actionable report by immediately highlighting our issues and what further actions must be taken to avoid a similar trend in the future. Thank you for watching. I hope this video inspired you to try out this fast and simple solution on your own data and I encourage you to be creative with your data testing. For more learning material, make sure to check out our help center on our website where you will find articles, templates and webinars to guide you through report creation. In case of any questions, don't hesitate to contact us via email support at zebrabi.com.